Okay, beware of this. Sometimes you are given a single equation like this, redox equation, and you'll be asked to balance this as it is without um, half equations. Now, it'll be time consuming for you to really construct a half equation and solve that way. So you really need to practice uh, you now coming out of this half equation method to actually be able to do straight uh, with an equation like this but they you'll be given the conditions in which you do this this is acid conditions okay for for this one so that means you may have to add uh, H plus ions and or water molecules as required so let me go through this uh, it's very similar to uh, the half equation method you just identify the first thing uh, the, the first thing that you do is identify the things that's getting oxidized or reduced the atoms or ions so here you have plus um, 7 going to plus 2 so you can see that's changing you, you should be able to spot this fairly easily once you practice this enough you have uh, minus 2 here going to 0 now these check if these atoms are balanced first yes they are the next thing to do is check uh, balance the electrons right so it's better to draw from here to here with a pencil and then rub that off later on so you can see there is a, um, a change in electron of five electrons being added so I put five electrons going from Mn to Mn2 Mn7 plus to 2 plus five electrons being added uh, minus 2 to 0 you have uh, a loss of two electrons right so this means you have to multiply this by 5 and that by 2 to get the electrons balanced. So you're doing the same thing as half equations but doing in in a single equation, in a single uh, step. Okay, So you got 10. So this means I have to multiply this by 5 and this species by 5. Okay, So that's done. Uh, so whatever this is connecting so it's going from here to here so I multiply that by 5 and this by 2 so that by 2 okay now you can get rid of these lines if that is too many things confusing you now the next step is to check if the overall charges are equal so you can you also notice that the oxygen atoms on the left is not no oxygen atoms on the right hand side so as is the case with uh, redox reactions, you have to add the water molecules and, and, and H plus as required, right? So you can see there's four uh, oxygen atom and there's no here, nothing here. So you, you may need to add this H plus or H2O, let's see. Now, to decide on how much and where to add, you look at the overall charge of the species, not these oxidation numbers, just the overall charge, two times minus 1 is minus 2 on the left hand side and you have 2 times plus 2 on the right hand side. I'm going to write the overall charge maybe in a circle like this right. So you have uh, minus 2 here and you have 2 plus uh, plus 4 here 2 times that plus 2. So you have an overall charge of plus 2. This hasn't got any charge. So that's the charges on the species on the left and right. Now once you've decided that then you can see you have to add H plus to the left to bring it up to 6 plus. So I have to now add 6 hydrogen ions on the left hand side to make uh, this equal. Um, so 6 H plus ions. Now that brings the charge. So I have to add plus 6 that makes the charges okay now then check the oxygen atoms right so you can see this oxygen here hydrogen here there's nothing here so I have to add the water here H2O uh, divide that by 2 and see if that works 6 hydrogen 6 hydrogen is okay 8 oxygen 3 oxygen here hasn't worked oh in a way 10 plus 6 that's 16 uh, hydrogen here so I try 8 here okay 8 now let's see if that works so 16 had 10 plus 6 16 hydrogen 8 oxygen here 
eight oxygen here yeah that's what check the charges charges are all right so this is now a balanced equation I hope that makes sense you will be given whether something is acid condition or not to start with and then you go ahead and use this method okay so next one you try you try this uh, oxidation so this is acid condition okay so first with the oxidation numbers this is plus one for chloride here and that's minus one right so there is a um, two electrons being added this is changing oxidation state as you can see this is zero and this is minus one but it's not balanced so anything that changes oxidation state you, know, you must balance that first before you decide on the electrons now you can see that this is actually losing the two electrons right from here to here minus 2e so the electrons are already balanced so you don't have to change any numbers here now but however look at the oxygen atom here's an oxygen atom there's not no ox oxygen atom here so you may have to add h plus h2o as required right so then you look at the overall charge to decide that you have three minus two minus here one minus so three minus there's only one minus here so that means I have to add two H plus to get the charges balance out but by doing that my aim is to balance the oxygen and hydrogen as well now you can see there's two hydrogen and one oxygen so to balance that I have to add H2O here now that is a balanced equation so CLO um, that, all of that is now done You try first, check. This is again acid conditions. Okay, so you may be thinking, okay, I don't need all these methods. Let's see, because it looks simple enough. 2i minus, so 2, uh, that balances with i2 already. Three oxygen atoms, so I'm going to stick a 3H2O uh, here that balances the oxygen atom so I put like six hydrogen ions here and that should be it isn't it wrong I tell you why you look at the overall charge on the left you got six plus and minus two that's plus four you have here and you have no charge here this is not a balanced redox reaction although it looks like it right so I'm going to start over again okay just follow the method right now there are two iodine um, <clears throat> uh, species on on the left uh, ions or atoms here right this is plus five this is oxidation this has got an oxidation state of minus one this is zero right so as you can see this iodine is changing from plus 5 to 0 and also from minus 1 to 0 so it is a redox reaction uh, this iodide ion <clears throat> and that is a different ion right this is out with a 1 minus charge and that's a plus this comes from iodate ion right so you you're better off adding another iodine to make this problem slightly easier you know why because some of them is changing from this to iodine some of them are going from minus one this minus one is changing to iodine right and you don't know how many of each is happening it's better off when you have a situation like this add another iodine here okay we'll let, later on look at another example of this right so then you can see what's happening to each right so let's balance this one first check it's going from plus five to zero uh, the atoms are not balanced this is io3 right this i2 so there's only one i here so i'm going to put a two here right to decide on how many electrons i'm going to need two times plus five so that's a total of plus 10 uh, oxidation state going to zero so i'm, I'm going to have to add 10 electrons to this right to get go from 10 positive to zero right now then again this is not balanced so i have to put a two here now going from minus 2 to 0 uh, it has to lose two electrons right now as you can see 
I have to multiply these two by 5. Multiply that by 5 to get this 10 electrons. So that means this goes into 10. And that's 5. Okay, so that will be uh, as numbers change, right? 10. And there's that, right? So then we are left with this. Now look at the overall charge. This is acid conditions, right? Overall charge is minus 2 plus 10, uh, 10 minus, another 10 minus. So that's a total of 12 minus charge on the right, left hand side, 0 on the right hand side. So that means I have to add a. Uh, 12 H plus ions to the left okay now to balance the oxygen atoms the easiest way as you know is divide that by 2 Let's try that it's most of most of the time it works 6 H 2 O right so 12 hydrogen atom 12 hydrogen here uh, 6 oxygen 2 times 3 6 oxygen <clears throat> check the iodine as well. You've got 12 iodine. 5 times 2 is 10 plus that 2, 12, right? Now that is now balanced. However, you notice that you can actually simplify this a little bit more, right? 2IO3 minus 10I minus. I'm going to add this 5I to this I, I2, sorry, 5I2 to, to this iodine. Put 6 iodine here plus 6H2O, right? Now you notice they're all even numbers. Now you can, you'll get the mark as it is. Uh, you'll get full marks for balancing this, but however, you can divide that by two, put 6H plus, plus IO3. So I'm dividing everything by two, five I minus, giving three I2 plus three H2O. Now that's a fully balanced equation, right? and you can check all the charges as well yeah six plus cancels with the six minus zero charge on the left and on the right check the atoms as well all done so make sure that you understand this why we put two iodine to start with make the problem slightly easier very similar to the previous one again acid conditions so check um, see if you can do this yourself again you can you notice the same thing it's actually exactly the same thing right nearly the same thing. Okay, you try this as you can see this is very similar exactly the same except the iodine has been changed to bromine uh, so here check your answer right so it's pretty much the same equation as before this is slightly different so you can try this this is again of acid condition Okay, hope you tried this now check the answer so initially I identify the oxidation uh, number change CR2 so that make sure that is balanced so I put a 2 here then I work out the oxidation number for each chrome the total of this is uh, for 7 oxygen it's 14 minus so I should have a plus 12 here for the 2 chromium so each chromium here has a plus 6 oxidation state the total of the oxidation state here is plus six so it's going from plus two to plus six add six electrons going from here to here first check that's balanced yep okay so then i have to um, take away two electrons right so if you can see i have to multiply this by three to get the electron numbers the same that means i have to multiply that species by three right so that is the initial bit done with the electrons. Now, um, now the oxygen needs to be balanced, right? And hydrogen, okay. So check the overall charge on the left. What do you have? Uh, minus two, six, three times plus two is six. So you have a plus four charge on, on the left. You have uh, 12 plus plus. 2 times 3, 6, 18 on the right. So this means I have to add a 14 H plus on the left hand side. 
right and look at the oxygen here so this means I have to add 7 H2O on the right hand side
Okay, I'm going to go through one uh, equation in alkaline condition, but this is like not half equation. That's why I want to go through one example, which is given here, right? So I'm going to go through this. Um, and then you can actually try these three in alkaline condition for practice. Okay, so I'm going to write that equation over on the next uh, here. Okay, so Mn, MnO4 plus leave a space for any numbers HCO2 minus uh, gives MnO2 plus CO3 2 minus okay there are some charges here and oxygen atoms so you can expect to add for alkaline condition I need to add OH minus ions and H2O as required okay so if you look through this you can just for assign the oxidation numbers first so here is uh, MnO4 minus so plus 7 here and that goes to plus 4 the carbon here is the one thing to look out for so that's the one thing that looks like it's changing oxidation state because hydrogen and oxygen have fixed uh, in this type of in this compound right in this ion so let's go for carbon uh, so you have uh, plus 1 for hydrogen minus 4 for the two oxygen atoms so that leaves you with uh, one negative charge you need so the carbon is plus two here so plus three minus four gives you an overall charge of minus one here so the carbon's oxidation state is plus two here whereas over here you got minus six for the three oxygen atom overall is minus two so the carbon atom here has got a plus four oxidation state okay so that goes from plus two to minus four by losing two electrons um, and then if you look at manganese that actually gains three electrons so this means I have to multiply to get the electron numbers equal I need to multiply this by two and that by three which means any connecting species I multiply that by three and this by two to start with so that sorts out the electrons yeah i'm going to tidy this up a bit so remove all these numbers i hope that's okay and then i'm going to go with the um, oxygen and hydrogen atoms okay so now let's have a look at the overall charge uh, two minus and three minus here so that's a minus five on the left hand side and here you have minus six three times minus two this hasn't got any charge so you got an overall charge of minus six here so that means i have to add an oh minus ion onto the left hand side oh minus right one just one oh minus that makes the charges now equal on both sides so then now that means this helps us to look at the hydrogen and oxygen atoms next there's no hydrogen on the left on the right hand side so if you just look at the hydrogen atoms alone you should be able to balance this there are four hydrogen atom atoms on the left so I'm going to put two H2O now check the charges are okay so let's check the oxygen atoms um, two times four is eight plus six here three times two and then one here so that gives us what 14 15 15 hydrogen atoms uh, 15 oxygen atoms so here it is 4 plus 9 here 3 times 3 then 2 and that's also 15 so that we are okay with oxygen right okay so that's balanced balancing done for that equation now hopefully you can do these in alkaline condition and check your answer in a minute oh here is the printed answer of what we have here okay I'm gonna now show you the answer so you can check this for yourselves okay here is the questions that I gave you and then here are the answers the solutions I hope you got them correct 
and that will be the end of this redox balancing video series uh, series of lessons i hope you made good use of this